High-level delegates and senior government officials from 28 countries across the Commonwealth will gather in New Providence next week for the 13th Commonwealth Women's Affairs Ministers' Meeting at the Atlantis Paradise Island Resort. The Bahamas to take center stage at the discussions and stakeholders will address critical issues affecting women in the Commonwealth. Desmond Sanders joins us live with more. Good evening, Desmond. Good evening, Juanita, and good evening, Bahamas. A recent United Nations Women's Organization report suggests that gender equality is 300 years away, with some countries showing little to no progress at all on this issue. According to Minister of Social Services and Urban Development, the Honorable Obi Wilskum, this issue will no doubt drive next week's Commonwealth Women's Affairs Ministers' Meeting at the Atlantis Paradise Island Resort. According to the International Labor Organization, the COVID-19 pandemic set back decades of progress toward gender equality. On average, the report says, women are currently paid 20% less than men are globally. Putting this wage gap difference in perspective, the Global Gender Gap Report of 2022 forecasts that it will take another 132 years to close the wage gender gap. The gender wage gap critically impacts the quality of life for families and ultimately the socioeconomic fabric of our nations. Studies have shown that gender inequality has a strong relationship with a range of types of violence especially sexual violence and domestic and family violence. Gender and climate change, ending violence against women and girls, disability inclusion, gender equality and disability inclusion will also be addressed. Minister of Education and Technical and Vocational Training, the Honorable Glennis Hannah Martin, Dame Anita Allen, former Tourism Director General Joy Jibilu, and Bahamas Technical and Vocational Institute President Dr. Linda Davis, among distinguished panelists who will tackle issues relating to tourism, women in political leadership, and women in non-traditional fields. A strong advocate for women's rights, wife of the Prime Minister, Anne-Marie Davis, will host a special session at this distinguished conference. We will have a lot of NGOs there, especially those who are in the fight for the same cause, who are all pushing for to end gender-based violence, also for women empowerment, such as economic empowerment, political empowerment, you know, there are different areas, technologically, technological advancement. Um, so we, we're going to discuss quite a lot. Um, and we have a wonderful panel of experts. Definitely mental health, which is a big item that we have here facing us. Um, we will discuss that, the impacts of gender-based violence on mental health and vice versa. Now the Bahamas will lead the chairmanship of the Commonwealth Women's Affairs Ministers Meeting for the next three years. The Women's Affairs Ministers Meeting will set the Commonwealth Heads of Government Meeting agenda in 2024. So this is big for the Bahamas, good news for our country. Near the Paradise Island Bridge, Desmond Saunders, The Bahamas Tonight.